Whew. Now, now that's a warm around just to see new buildings and looks of it in San Diego, the old town San Diego. Oh, sorry, it's a time. But it's a good times. Oh, if you look over there, commercial restaurant, tobacco, cigars, and pipes. Huh. That's something you've seen on the restaurant, you know, cowboy story, where the Indians meet the cowboys. Which I heard the legend story of the Lone Stranger. I heard of that story of the Lone Stranger meeting the Indian guy. You can see over there, there are some nice trees over there. And I'm surprised some kids are capable of climbing up trees. But I don't know my niece, but it's like my niece Justin never want to get dirty. He's like she prefer herself clean and fashionable. Speaking of clean and fashionable, that's how Chas my niece Jasmine is. She looks clean and fashionable. So she prefers to be a, a cl the clean looking girl who never want to get dirty. Right, Jasmine? You don't like getting dirty because you're trying to prefer yourself clean and yeah. nice. Oh. You see what I mean? Not every children who likes to get dirty, there are different kinds. Some children loves to play dirty. Some children loves to play clean. Like Jasmine trying to play clean. So she can be a good girl to her mom, my eldest sister. If Jasmine prefers to play clean, then I would respect that because she's different in a good way. You know, you know what the old wife saying, being different is okay. If you see up in that tree, you can see how big that tree is. Very big and tall. Oops, looks like I'm gonna take a picture. Ready, ready, Adjusilla? Ready for a picture shot? Jasmine, your mom is calling. So I'm, don't worry, I got this camera so I can take a screenshot. All right. Oh, all right. Ready, ready, Adjusilla and girls? I like it here. I think she took the big house. Okay, I'll have to look back. Okay. If you see some buildings, that reminds me what I saw in Knott's Berry Farm ever since Halloween, where I dressed up like Violet Bullguard for Halloween, the Knott's Scary Farm. And I recognize that wagon. That's from the Knott's Berry Farm too. Dang, I never realized that the old town San Diego had some similar stuff from, that you've seen in Knott's Berry Farm. It's pretty cool. And, this, and the coats over there. You know that Western dress? That reminds me about what Laura Angles used to wear when she grows up into an adult teacher, right before she married the man of her life. Yeah. I'll never forget what I saw Laura Angles become a teacher. Even though Melissa Gilbert really enjoyed her role as a grown up Laura Angles as a teacher, and surprisingly, her voice is sound so young, like, she's, like she has the voice of the 16 year old. Which impress me. Which make her a lot younger and sweeter. You know, Melissa Gilbert. No, well, I have to feel like I'm gonna talk to you. Melissa Gilbert, I hope you keep your old, you know, souvenirs of the movie called Little House on the Prairie, where you are the amazing war angles. We'll never forget you, Melissa Gilbert. Keep up the good work. And you're still the best Laura angles at all times. Okay, let's move on. I don't know if this place looks pretty small, but it sure looks like nice ass not Berry Farm, the one with some western area. The one with, do you call it the cowboy town? Blacksmith? I mean, that, that looks really the one I seen in Knott's Berry Farm, but it sure is a good, memorable place. 
Oh, look, you, look, there's a map right here, which I'm going to take a screenshot, so I'll put that in my slideshow. There you go. Now I got the screenshot of it while I was recording. Right now, I better catch up to my elder sister and my nieces. I don't want to get lost. Okay, I guess you where are we off to now? Okay. Well, well, everyone, let's find out next. You hear that? Next stop. So let's find out. I'll see you there in the next place once we stop by. my eldest sister Sila, Lassay, and Jasmine. So now you know I'm not alone. I'm, I'm with them now, so that way you're not worried. And and later on, I'm, I'm not sure where we're going to go, but it's up to my eldest sister. Uh, Sila, what do you think we can go later after a We might stop by at the Seaport Beach, which is seven minutes from here where we're staying at. Hmm, Seaport sea Beach. Seaport Beach, yes. Is this like Seaport Village, that's what they call it. Oh. And you're saying the beach is gonna be like a nice store walk? Yeah. I haven't been there, so we'll see what they have it what they have for us in there. Hmm. So I think we should see later. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We'll see. We're all, it's all gonna be our own. I mean, uh, all our first time. You hear that, guys? We're going to the beach later. And to tell the truth, I've never been to the beach before. It's all because, with all due honesty, I don't have any memories of the beach. So, so this is gonna be my first time seeing the beach later. And in the meantime, right now, we're gonna rest here and get cold by the AC, mm -hmm. so we can get our energy up, and then. Once our energy up and our bodies cool down, then we're ready to go out for, this, for the beach walk. This is gonna be like a nice summer walk, even though it's spring, but spring and summer are the good sunny days or seasons. The one there's no snow, well, sometimes it rains, so just to be aware. Only like the purse and green leaves and the nice ocean. You know, spring and summer can be similar when it comes to bright sunny days and trees and butterflies. Even the bunny rapids and stray raccoons uh, who loves the nature. I'm 
right now. I'll see you when we get there to the beach. First thing I'm gonna take my shoes off so I can rest in the bed and watch some TV here with my sister and nieces. Thank you.